his set with Dill for the most part. I mean, it really only became like a little more dominant in Dill's favor, like towards the end. Yeah. Like for the first game and a half. It was mad close. Really. It was mad close, yeah. For sure. Speaking of mad close, uh, Venia and Ralphie, definitely boys. They're mad close. Now they're about to be even closer because they're fighting. Yep. Well, <laughs> each actually, other in losers well, actually on the setup, they're pretty far away. But. Well, yeah, like on, you know, because we, we dual setups out here in dual 2018. Dual setups. Dual setups I love out that. here in 2018. Favorite thing about Zeno, honestly. For sure. I love that. Okay, get that neutral air. Thought he was going to try to get that follow up, but, you know, Ralphie just wanted to play a little bit safe. Spike him back down on the ground. Make him second guess before trying to jump at him again. It's usually just sent out there to, like, send home a message. You can't get away with just spamming up there on me. Okay, nice catch. Does the ledge drop into a backer? This could be an opportunity to go for an edge guard. That was a really good recovery coming from Venia. Yeah, I thought Ralphie was kind of just sitting there. Uh, I think he was just sitting on ledge waiting to do like a drop uh, cross lash so that back air does not take the stock. Uh, but instead, he just waited to see where Venia was going to go because I think Venia, while he was off stage, gets really thirsty with that one. Just that was supposed to be out. a blade beam. Yeah, yeah. That was 100% supposed to be a blade beam because that would have caught him. That up smash is going to do it. But while he was waiting off stage right there, he kind of just like, Venia while he was, uh, Venia while he was just like floating off stage while he was like looking at uh, Ralphie while he was just hanging on the ledge. At a certain point, he reacted to that and saw that, like, yeah, he's waiting like to do like a drop cross slash. So I'm going to recover high instead. Ralphie, unfortunately for him, just not reacting to it. And because of that, he is going to lose a stock first. That was Venia really here. smart recovery from Ralphie. What just happened there is that Venia shot his hydro pump at him, and then he used his double jump to go up with the water to give him some more verticality. That was pretty clever. I mean, that, that just that just comes with matchup knowledge, honestly. For sure. Greninja's a fairly, as far as technicality in Smash 4 goes, Greninja for sure is definitely one of the game's more technical characters as well. Character presses a lot of buttons. Not always the easiest buttons as well as that back air is going to do it, speaking of easy buttons. He just followed him that whole time. Who catches the jump out of shield? Okay, this could be Ralphie's time to get some combos going. Oh, I like the double perfect pivot. He knew where he was going to go, but unfortunately he just couldn't jump and get an up air out in time before Venia could place out a hitbox of his own. And that's going to be a down tilt to an up smash. Game one going to Deadly Alliance, his very own Venia. Venia is really good at controlling this character. He's really good at just like dashing up, canceling it into a down tilt. And just like he gets, he gets so much mileage off of that down tilt. He does. He, like, he just got that up smash kill. Man. Definitely low key got... one of Greninja's, mm. if not his best move. Down tilt or neutral air, man. Like one of the two. But they, they both lead to combos. They both lead to kills. Mm -hmm. As long as you got that, I think you're an okay character in this game. I'd like to see that on all those like Twitter posts of like what this character's best move is. <gasps> that was scary for a second. If you would have hit that dash attack, that'd be a dead Ralphie. Yeah, but it's a good thing we don't have one of those yes. on, on the screen right now. I mean, I, I don't see a dead Ralphie. He's on the screen. He's fighting. You know, like, it just started. Both these guys at 0%. The match just started. Yeah. You know, they, you know that's what happens at the beginning of a Smash Brothers match. You both start at zero, you know. Uh, but I think that, I think it might be broken or something. I think uh, Venia might have a handicap on because he started with two. And uh, Ralphie started with one. Don't exactly know how that happened there. But it looks like they're going to play it out regardless. And uh, Venia still uh, sitting pretty up a full stock in terms of both... Uh, both in terms of both the stock and percent already. Is he going to hydro pump him again? Off. Not quite. He was just able to barely, barely get low enough and get that sweet spot to be able to make it back. Good stuff to Ralphie. Just, uh, just, uh, just like very, uh, very scarily but surely uh, making sure he stays in this bracket right now. Venice is literally just one down tilt away, one neutral air away from closing out the set. Or just catch him laying back down on the ground. That was a... Uh... Wow. He was just all over Venia, uh, Ralphie. I feel like Ralphie's entire momentum just got destroyed by that early game. Well. I mean, that's what you got to do against Cloud, you know? Like, that's Cloud's biggest weakness. You get him off stage without a double jump or a limit, like, he's dead. Like, you saw him go for that double jump immediately. That's why Venia put out his little toe there. Ralphie perhaps might have, should have played a little bit more patient on that recovery. What kind of monster just uses a water to push Cloud off stage like that? What kind of monster would ever do something like that? I mean, technically, it's a pocket monster. 